good morning it is bright and early outside today <laughs> he's like why are you vlogging we're meant to be going out it is like 7 a.m on a sunday and we are gonna get stuff done today my plan for today's video is gonna be to kind of like organize the house a little bit just do a bit of refills of stuff that we need to refill we need to um He's like, take me out. We've got a few bits to do today, just getting stuff done. I maybe even want to start cleaning the new kitchen cupboards, which is very exciting. <clears throat> oh God, I sound like this very early. <clears throat> Excuse me. Clean the cupboards just like lightly. Start bringing stuff up, but not like organize it. Just kind of clear out the storage room and start putting kitchen things in the kitchen, but not necessarily in their like homes, just in the cupboards for now. We still need to get the worktop fitted. So it's by no means a finished kitchen ready for organizing. But for now, it's just a case of getting stuff up out of the storage room so that I can see better in the storage room and organize that better as well. So that's the plan for today's video. I thought I would pick you up because I love watching kind of organizational type videos like this. And I'm starting the vlog this early because there's a car boot sale not too far from us that I've never been to before and I saw it online posted Tom's away he had a stag do last night um, <clears throat> so I'm up bright and early it's just us two I'm gonna go on a nice dog walk afterwards it's near <clears throat> sorry guys it's near Quarry Bank which is a national trust that we love to go to near Wilmslow so yeah we're gonna go there have a nice walk after the car boot sale who knows if we'll get any new finds for the house um we'll have a look I'll take you guys with me and then we'll get some organizing done today shall we <laughs> so without further ado I feel like it's time for me to arrest my morning voice get on the road and head to my first car boot sale in what is a very very long time. It's been you all along, but I've been too caught up to see it, baby. We can have it all. If I just could get myself together a wash load and um, have some breakfast and I thought I'd show you the two things that I picked up from the car boot sale there was a couple of other things I was tempted for but I ended up leaving so the first thing that I picked up was this uh, like glass they call them demi johns they're basically like a huge glass jar I know a lot of people use these for like keeping coins in or um, like I quite like the idea of having just a single stem of something like a contorted hazel or a twig branch or something that you can maybe hang things on seasonally um, or some eucalyptus some olive leaves whatever it may be these usually retail online I know Wilco's do one for like 12 pounds the cheapest I've seen online is yeah like 10 to 15 pounds and I bought that for four so that was quite good and you can DIY these as well so if you like the shape of them to maybe DIY them with like a stone not stone or stone color but like with the bicarb of soda, you know, like little hack that people sponge on and it kind of makes it textured like stone. So yeah, I got that. And then I also picked up this frame for 50p. It was at a stand that had a 
frame with a golden retriever in it but I was just looking at the actual frames and I preferred this one it's kind of like a antique brass finish and obviously I'm going to remove the print I've got some old scraps of newspaper that we found in the wall in the house and I was after um, a photo frame like this to be honest with you it might not be suitable for this one but I thought for 50p I'll risk it I'll try it and if not I can re-donate it to a charity shop or something but um, I, I was after quite a chunky smaller frame so I may still use this for something else but um, yeah I want to kind of like test it out and see but yeah these scraps of like newspaper that we found in the walls I thought would be interesting to actually frame them and put them put them in like in the downstairs loo or I don't know just to add a bit of character to the house in terms of like what we've discovered throughout this renovation so yeah they're the two things that I picked up it was okay it was fairly small I feel like it's still early season it was a bit drizzly as well so I'm sure not everyone was out in full force but it was only a pound to get in. It was a good little browse anyway this morning and then I took Barney for a walk. I'm still feeling a bit under the weather. I feel like this cold or whatever it is that I've had is like really lingering. Um, and I go like up and down. I have a bit of a bout of energy but then I feel a bit like ugh again. So yeah, this video is probably going to be over a couple of days because I don't think I'm going to find the energy to get fully organized and on top of the house in a day i mean it may even take weeks who knows but i definitely want to kick start things today i'll show you in our storage room to show you how it's looking currently it is chock-a-block full to the brim loads to do this is kind of like an area when you walk in we've just got like chest freezer fridge microwave our kind of temporary setup and then this is massive piles of stuff within the storage room so we've got overflow of food most of these things especially this section is all like kitchen stuff so again if I can start just putting things upstairs it will clear up a bit of space for me to then any kind of like home decor bits that I need to just organize and put away then I can do so until we actually style up the downstairs space but yeah again these boxes they're all kitchen stuff I mean some things I might even end up donating or if they're really bad just like recycling or whatever depending on the state of them but we didn't really properly go through it all when we packed up the kitchen we were kind of in a rush we just put everything in boxes brought them down and look they're that heavy that I've broken some of the boxes which is annoying um so I might go out and buy some more of these at some point when I actually get around to organizing because that's kind of like behind there a taster of how I want them all to be organized but like labeled up with Christmas decorations, Easter, autumn, that kind of thing. We've got our Christmas trees down here. We've got suitcases, ladders, all sorts. So yeah, there's a lot. Spare baskets, um, stationary bits down there as well, and vases and pots and yeah, just quite a lot. So it's a bit overwhelming in here and I don't, I don't like to be in here for too long. We also keep our coat storage down here, like just for, you know, handy grab and go for dog walks. So it's very chaotic, this room. It's very stressful. And have you brought me your bunny rabbit? Have you brought me your bunny rabbit? Oh, that's very nice of you. Should you put it back in your bed? silent and just do a quick meditation I find if I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed a bit stressed a bit down a bit negative then a meditation session just really resets me and I feel like I can look at things with a different perspective so although I'm not particularly feeling anxious I would say I'm just feeling a bit low and a bit like I think because I've been full of cold this week and it's just lingered and I just want it gone and it's been a miserable outside as well the weather's not been great I've just felt a bit lack of motivation low energy and just a bit yeah I feel like I need a bit of a reset of my brain so I'm gonna just google there's one I'll leave a link to the one that I'm gonna do below I just lie back get comfy I've not properly made the bed yet today either so I thought I'm gonna take this opportunity to have a bit of morning meditation to just reset and um, set myself off with like a positive mindset, a bit of 
positive affirmations. I'm gonna do one in particular that's only 10 minutes, so it doesn't take up too much time either. And it's for kind of resetting positivity. It's called Guided Meditation for Powerful Positivity, Peace, Focus and a Positive Mind in 10 Minutes from Boho Beautiful Yoga. By the way, if you've never tried meditation, definitely do if it's something that you've been thinking about. I'd say I've only started doing it for the last six months, something like that. And each time I do it, I think I should do this more. And I never do. But I tell myself how good it feels afterwards and how it just, like I keep saying, it just resets you. That's kind of how I would explain a meditation. So you can sit, you can lie, you can just get comfy. I need to clean these bed sheets because he's been on it. I can see my leggings have got uh, fur on them. Looks like I am a golden retriever myself. So yeah, def definitely need to <laughs> wash this bedding. Oh, but anyway, time to just pause and reset. May we begin our journey today by reconnecting with ourselves. Closing the eyes, sitting comfortably, letting go of any heavy energy that you feel is weighing you down in this moment right now. Just letting it go as you take another deep breath in and exhale, giving yourself the permission to settle. Thank you for breathing and enjoying this moment with me today. May you have a beautiful rest of your day. May you find reasons to smile and be grateful for the simple moments of this beautiful life. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Let me know if you guys do that. Look how chilled I am now, so <laughs> I'm not even sat up. Oh, let me know if you try it yourself. But honestly, I'm wondering if it's going into his, his subconscious as well. Just so relaxing, so chilled, and ooh, kind of feels like a nap, but without napping. Feeling good? Are we feeling good, Barney? Are we feeling positive? Ready for some organization? Ready for some... <laughs> He's looking at me like, I can't even, can you see it in there? He's like, Mum, what are you talking about? Says, Mom, what are you talking about? We're gonna feel positive towards today. I might even start in the bedroom, actually. I might start with a bit of clothes organization. There's some clothes down there. I don't know if you can see that pile down there. That is tons to go to charity. And our tip has the clothes donations banks. They've got like bric-a-brac donations as well. So um, it's really easy to be able to just um, head down to the tip and drop off a load of stuff so yeah i think i might see if there's anything in my wardrobes that i want to um donate i do get asked quite a lot if i am willing to sell on depop and vintage and things and i do sometimes on the odd occasion but if i'm being completely honest with you especially for clothes that i've been gifted i feel like to monetize off that a little bit cheeky i don't know i feel like i would i like to do my bit and give to charity as well so yeah if it's things that i have bought myself that i've liked and i kind of think oh i just don't need it but i do like it and there's nothing really wrong with it i barely worn it then i might sell the odd thing on depop here and there but yeah i think this time round, there's nothing really of i don't think anything like that so i think i might just see if there's anything to get rid of and donate to charity i actually can't wait for the day that we have this space back and we don't have a wardrobe in here we've got like a nice chaise or something instead because it really just does not fit this space but anyway there are some nips that i could put away but having said that it feels quite cold outside still so I don't know if we still have a few wintry days in us, especially with Tom playing cricket. He's actually playing today, but it might be rained off. So um, I'm not gonna bother going because I don't wanna sit and wait for the rain to stop. <laughs> um, but yeah, for early cricket season, when you go and watch, it can get quite cold when you just sat there outside. So you need your layers. I'm chatting to you guys, procrastinating. Let's make a start. The 
They were in high school when they met And things got kind of awkward With sparks in the air He would stare at her in class And she would try to act cool Who's that, Barney? Right. Who's you should go <laughs> right, I'm going to have to be selective with which cupboards I choose here to put stuff in because because the joiner's going to have to shave this bit back, isn't he? Or bring it forward or something. Either way, something on this cupboard he has to change, so I'm not going to put anything in that cupboard. Um, I can do this one. Not yet. I'll change things down. Um, so I feel like this is a good, decent sized cupboard, this one, to start bringing some stuff up. I'm not gonna give it a thorough clean. I'm just going to, I brought these wipes up from downstairs from Zaflora. The Sunshine Escape ones. I'm just gonna run these over the cupboards because obviously in future, when I get everything back out to reorganize everything, I'll give them a proper clean then because they're probably still gonna get a bit dusty with like paintwork and joiners work and stuff, but at least then they'll be covered. I can't bring anything up that I'll need access to because when they paint in here, they're going to be covering all the cupboards. So, I quite strongly scented these. I don't really like the smell of these ones. I don't think I'll buy that one again. It smells okay. It's just, um, I think it's the coconutty scent. I don't usually go for like a coconutty scent. So anyway, yeah, just going to wipe these down. Each shelf. We've got the main bulk of dust off. I'm gonna to have to get a little step still for these, so there's no way you can't even see the top one. There's no way I'm gonna be able to reach these. This is as far as I can reach. I can't even reach the back of that one. And then I'm on my tiptoes here. There's no way I can get to the back of that. So yeah, I'll bring up a little step still, but yeah, just anything that I can bring up for now just to keep up here and help clear up some space in the storage room will be a real help. Brand new kitchen cupboards. This upsets me. Ooh, look what we've just had arrive, our National Trust memberships. This is exciting. I feel like a proper grandma get excited for a National Trust membership. Love it. Ta-da! Our National Trust membership cards. So we can take you on nice long walks in different places. I didn't realise I left you on. I'm going to go grab some bin bags. We have an audience whilst we're doing this. You're just overlooking, are you? You're being a good boy. I was at the wrong place at the right time. Because suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes. We were conversing under the night sky. When you took my hands and let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down I wanna laugh out loud Talk a little deep about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies then you took my hands and let's leave now don't wanna be shy i will let my guard down i think someone's a sun worshiper he would happily just stay outside all day especially when the weather's like this just open the doors, let some nice fresh air in. Honestly, this is the day that, oh mind you, that, that cloud looks a little bit gray up there. 
but this is the day that I've been waiting for to be able to just have the doors open obviously we still got to like render these walls but yeah I've cleaned out a few of the cupboards now a few main chunky cupboards that have quite a bit of space in so what I'm gonna do I think is bring things up in bags so that it's still kind of somewhat protected and um, pop them in this cupboard down here these two cupboards well all of these drawers and cupboards actually and hopefully we won't need access to those oh we've also got some on the island that I've emptied out as well um, the drawers these just need the handles adding to them which I do have them here I tried to do it myself messed up so I thought I'd just leave it to the professionals I think I need a screwdriver to pop them on but that's what they look like but um, yeah just need to pop those on there so I'm going to leave those drawers for now but then we've also got the cupboards in here as well that I could um, start putting some bits in feels like it's too good to be true because obviously as much as I um, I'm grateful for this house and have loved being in it so far. We yet to fully live in the entire space. We've either been living downstairs whilst upstairs was being done. We've been upstairs whilst downstairs was being done. We've now been like in between the basement and the bedroom. So we're yet to fully live in the entire house. So it's getting close to that time and I'm just feeling like spoiled for storage space. It honestly feels amazing. What I don't want to do is clutter it up though. <laughs> So, hence why I'm getting started with that storage room and bringing things up to the kitchen. I'm going to be really ruthless with brand new things, like things I can't live without. I've got some new cutlery, all sorts of stuff like that that I will put in the kitchen. And anything that, as Marie Kondo says, doesn't spark joy, I'm going to get rid of. Like old pots and pans and just um, start fresh, get some new. So, yeah, I'll take them to the tip to be recycled as well. You know, it's like grubby old baking tins and stuff that just could do with being replaced anyway. So yeah, I'm only gonna bring fresh things that excite me, my mugs. <laughs> Let's get going with bringing some stuff into these cupboards. Not organized just yet, but for now, out of the storage room and into our kitchen. Our dream kitchen, honestly. I pinch myself every day. I, I, I really do. Still, two years on, living in this house, find myself thinking, yeah, but it's not our, it's not our house. It's not actually our house. It's, good. it's not real. It's not real yet. I have actually just applied for my YouTube 100K subscribers plaque, which should come through, it says, in two to three weeks. So that was also a moment doing that. I was thinking, it's not gonna feel real until I've got it in my hands. I can be like, wow, what an achievement. Pat on the back to me. Let's have a bit of self pride moment and tell me what you're proud of. What achievement are you proud of? Tell me, tell me in the comments below. We should pour out our love to ourselves for um, achieving what we have and being, and giving ourselves a big pat on the back and saying, well done. You're doing good, well done. first bags to be brought up and this is a prime example of the sort of thing that I'm going to be popping within the cupboards just whilst um, we don't need them for now it's not like a necessity to have them downstairs so things like stackable boxes they're from home bargains acacia wood lidded jars these are B&M a mug a trivet one of these seagrass trivets a La Creuse jar from TK Maxx Starbucks cup couple of mugs boxed up still from Hotel Chocolat that is going to be very exciting to get some new mugs on the go. Oh, you're going to knock the camera over. He has to come and inspect. Spring season blend Starbucks coffee. So yeah, these are just the sort of things that like I've got stored down there in these carry bags anyway. I'm just, as I'm downstairs, just going through making sure that what's in them is kitchen stuff and then bringing it upstairs. It's kind of like Christmas, I'm not going to lie. All these things I've been buying over the however many months. Finally, starting to be introduced to their new homes. I've just messaged Tom, I sent him a photo of Barney lying out on the porch, doors open. I said, all we need now is a hog for morning eggs and a decent coffee machine. Oh, guys, this is like, just 
one of the happiest videos I've filmed in a long time. And it's only gonna get more exciting the more stuff we have to do like this. Go back down and get some more. Okay, progress update, let me just pause that music. So, I've kind of got a bit of a method going on. It's taking its time, so it's gonna be a long process. And I think Tom's just gonna come down, he's working upstairs today, so he's gonna come down, we're gonna go grab some lunch, have a bit of a pause, and then I'll get back to it. But let me show you my process. No, he's outside now, but firstly I brought Barney's bed up, and he's been loving sitting there with the doors open. Okay, so I was gonna use these drawers, same with that, these cupboards over here. Just remembered, this hob, which is actually here, needs to be fit, so there's there needs to be like a bit of drilling involved, and mess that's going to be going on in there so i actually don't want to use that as a storage cupboard um and same with the island in terms of the electrician needs to come back there's a fridge freezer going in here and that's why that's not in there because the electrician needs to um go in there to fit the plug socket so one there and then there's also going to be sockets on the end here so i might not use the island drawers for now so for this cupboard what i'm doing slowly but surely is bringing up any kind of cooking books and because obviously you guys know i've picked up quite a collection of books that are going to be for the kitchen so specifically cooking books recipe books kitchen kind of themed books I've got this one gather so yeah i'm just going to keep all of the cooking books recipe books any kind of kitchen themed books within here then over here we've got just all sorts of random bits i have got one candle in here because this is going to be a specific to the kitchen island one that i've got bergamot and olive i think from sand and fog but it's a really nice green that goes with the island and then just other random bits and bobs this is the pestle and mortar that tom brought back from india so that's going to go on the island somewhere or worktop somewhere but for now it's just in there a couple of other random bits we've got some crockery in here as well another bag full of stuff back there so yeah that's kind of like just the miscellaneous kitchen stuff cupboard and then in here i've kind of like got a few foodie bits going in for with it being the pantry i thought i might as well put them in this space so this is like just a thing full of like hamper food that we got which we're saving for the kitchen so like some tea bags sea salted caramel hot chocolate got some honey just really random stuff in there coffee so any kind of like foodie bits i'm gonna keep within here again within carry bags so that if ever we did need to empty these out for the builders for whatever reason it's just nice and easy to just grab the carry bags pop them down let them do their thing and then pop them back in the cupboard so yeah that's going to be like the kind of foodie cupboard and i did come across this in there which i've decided to keep out rather than keep in storage these um peppermint fondants so i've had a couple of those but speaking of food it's time for lunch and a well deserved sit down oh look he's outside sleeping now honestly it just makes me so happy to just have the doors open and for him to just Come and go as you please as whilst I'm in this room doing a load of organising. It's that, that kind of, it's the little things in life that make me happy. And that moment is one that I've been waiting for for so long that it's starting, I feel like I'm getting a taster of it now. It's starting to feel real. And I'm just, I'm feeling very grateful. I know I keep saying that in this video, but I really am. That little reset this morning, that it's just completely changed my mindset. I'm, I feel like a different person to how I was when I woke up this morning. Isn't it funny how when you're in that rut and in that low like mood, it feels so 
far away to be out of that mood. But then literally within the space of several hours, I'm feeling like a different person. what my reaction is for 100,000 ah. so I've just got back from b and I just needed to get some like stock up bits new bits for like cleaning cupboard cleaning replenishment and some food as well for tonight and yeah whilst I was gone Tom has surprised me with 100,000 not 100,000 balloons, <laughs> literally the numbers one zero 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 zero. Bless him. Thank you, Tommy. Um, anyway, I thought I would show you the bits that I did get from VM. I ended up getting quite a lot actually. And also I've just come home to a couple of PR parcels. This new feather duster that I bought seems I couldn't reach the top of the cupboards. Hopefully these will help me. The flash dust and magnet starter kit you get two of the dusters and it's one of these extendable and maybe that's as long as it extends and then i also got one of the refill packs just to go with it i also got some treats for barney i've just given him one of those i was talking about trying to find the scrub mummy in white and or the gray and this one's actually fully white but it comes with a power paste and i've got some snacks i got these oops I don't think I've ever had these ones before, the birthday cake, but these are meant to be quite good with only 90 calories, well, under 90 calories per one. I wanted a new lint roller for in my bedside drawer just whilst I'm getting ready. It's just a handy place to have it, so I got that one, three pound. These I've never tried. In fact, I'm going to try one of those now because I've heard these are meant to be delicious, and I am a fan of Nutella, so I do with the coffee. I also got these white milky chocolate spread and little individual packs, which is quite handy. Maybe stock up on these and pop them in like a jar. I'm thinking all the aesthetics with our pantry organization. Need some salad cream for tonight. I've um, also got some mayonnaise. <laughs> this is giant. I have realized, I have discovered, I used to always buy the Hellman's one, light, normal, whatever, in a squeezy bottle. It's the Heinz mayonnaise that I like. I always think, oh, it's not as good as like holiday mayonnaise. It's because that's Heinz mayonnaise. So, because I realized it when I went to, I think it was Five Guys and they do sachets of this. And I was like, yes, that's the good mayo. So it's Heinz that you need to get if you like that holiday mayonnaise. I've got fairy washing up liquid to fill up, refill my Neptune one. I like to refill it with cheap stuff. A deodorant, three of the Harpic Pine Toilet Fresh Active Fresh Toilet Bleachers. I like to just keep them in the bathroom. So I'm gonna stock up the bathrooms with them and some washlets as well. And then I got some washing up bits. So I got some pods. We're running low on these. So I got the fairy non-bio ones. And then also my little jar that I have on my laundry shelf. I use the fairy, uh, oh, they smell good, in wash scent bits because they're white. I also got some pet hair solver from Vermouche and a couple of Febreze plugins. These ones are my absolute favorite. The orange Neroli, so, so good. And then some random bits that I just walked home to. I ordered this off Amazon. 
I've ordered the wrong thing. I wanted to get the Too Faced concealer in a lighter shade than the one that I've got because I like the consistency of it. It's just a bit too dark for me. And I thought I was buying it. I've bought the foundation. This is from Amarace celebrating World Earth Day, which obviously is gone already, but they've sent me two of their vegan skincare gummies, food supplements with sweeteners. So this one is the Glow Gummies, Marine Algae, Olive Leaf Extract, and Vitamin C. Also they've sent the Nourish vegan hair care gummies with organic reishi, chaga, and snow mushroom. Never heard of any of those, but thank you to them for sending over those. Ooh, iconic London. Kissed by the sun. Blushes, which are like a cream powder formula. Nice. So these are what they've sent me. Oh, and they've sent me one of these brushes as well. The Cheek Glow Duo brush. I'm gonna show you this because it's such a lovely brush. It's dual ended and you've got the kind of fan side on one side for more um, like highlighting. And then this one is such a nice dense one for, I actually quite like it for contouring as opposed to blush. And then I'll show you one of these, which shade shall I show you? Wow, that's darker than I thought it was gonna be. This is the Oh Honey shade. Can you see it's got like a bit of shimmer in it as well? Wow, look how creamy that is. Oh wow, that is so nice. I feel like the color pigment is gonna be really strong on that, yeah. I feel like a little is gonna go a long way with that one. Then I also got sent this set from uh, Revolution Pro Makeup, Miracle Skin. So in here we've got a plump miracle serum, a miracle cream, eye cream, and then a miracle balm, supercharged skincare, 12 hour protection. I'm trying to figure out if this is tinted or not, but I feel like it's not going to be. Oh my God, it's super thick. Can you see? I'm really having to squeeze to get that out. Oh yeah, that is very much a balm. It's quite like, um, not sticky, but quite heavy. This is the Miracle Cream. It's in the same pot as the um, Bobbi Brown face base. Oh yeah, that's really nice. It doesn't really have a smell to it other than a little bit citrusy almost. Yes, uh, got template booked in for in two days time to have it re-measured with the brackets so that we can get our worktop fitted ASAP. Cannot wait for that day. Right, I'm just gonna do some refills with these products just so that I can stock my cupboards up and uh, yeah, feel a bit more on top of stuff and a bit more organized. Squeaky sound push. Mm. Ah, so you can make it at an angle. Get that angle right. <laughs> oh, there's something in there. Oh my god. It's so dusty in here. Oh no, look at that. Ew. See all that sawdust. Just drying the third load of wash, no, I tell a lie, the fourth load of washing today actually because I did my duvet cover, these are sheets and pillowcases. I also did this blanket for our bed which I don't um, wash like each time. So that needed a wash. And I've also washed, yes, I've washed your toys. 
both his polar bear and his dogs. He likes to like cuddle those and like suckle on them. So they usually need a wash every other week or so. So all sparkling clean. that is gonna go ahead and conclude today's vlog i feel like i have just uploaded the footage onto my laptop and realized it's fairly long i've got a lot of editing to do and um, yeah so i thought i would end it here obviously I have loads more organizing to do like loads barely touched the surface with that storage room and definitely what are you doing yeah i obviously feel like i've barely touched the surface when it comes to organizing that storage room there is so so much to do still so many kitchen bits to bring up especially and yeah i will continue to vlog throughout the rest of this whole process of starting to organize the kitchen and bring stuff up from the storage room if that's something you're interested in let me know if you've enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up that tells me basically what content is popular and what i should do more of so yeah let me know thank you so so much for watching and spending the day with me today and yeah i'm sending you all my love i hope you have had an amazing day or if you're watching this in the morning hope you have a lovely rest of your day you should give me a chicken leg here and hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys <laughs> yes bye barney <laughs> he's like where's she going I'm staying here. You're a good boy. Oh, this is the leg, the leg cock. <laughs>